very windy today, um, so I might struggle here a little bit. Anyway, later on today, I'm going to show you the city around Hua Hin. We'll have a good look around. Uh, before we do that, I just thought I'd give you um, some key facts. Uh, the population, so I'm struggling to get my camera in the right position. Yeah, population is 85,000. Um, I'm not sure that figure's right actually, 85,000. To me, it seems a lot more. The trouble is, it's weekends, we get um, a big influx of um, people from Bangkok come down here for the weekends. And obviously, we've got a lot of um, expats um, living here. Um, I'd say from um, October, November time through to about February time, population does rise. Um, and obviously, a lot of expats come out for the winter time, come and live out here. Um, so that's, um, what are we, what else? Um, right, we're 200 kilometers south of Bangkok. Um, so about three or four hours in a car. Right, so I'm gonna talk about the good points and the bad points, okay? Right, good points, lots of good points here. I've got some notes and as long as I don't lose them. Did you see how windy it is out there? Um, see that? It's not good, folks. Anyway, good points. I've actually made a list because I wanna make sure I hit all these points. Okay, so we are maybe three hours from Bangkok. So location wise, pretty good. Um, right, we've got very good links to Bangkok. Um, right, we have an airport bus uh, that, that goes from Huahin to Bangkok Airport. Um, it goes about, I think about seven or eight times um, in the day uh, to and from the airport. So every one and a half hours as the bus going to the airport, it's like um, 300 baht, about seven pound UK and uh, it's Bell Travel that organise it. I just thought I'd show you this. The airport bus has now, uh, it's moved from Soy 96, it's now northbound. It's in between the airport and the post office, heading towards Cha'am. It's on the right hand side. Um, this is the new booking office. So it's a bit of a trek. If you, if you live southbound in Hua Hin now, you've got to come all the way out here. Booking office over there. Um, tables and chairs. There's no parking here, people. The parking's really limited. Um, in the old days, you could just dump your car down there and jump on the bus. Now, you're going to struggle to find some of the park down here, I'm afraid. But there you go. So no more 96. We're northbound up towards the airport. So there you go. Right, we'll see you in a minute. I've also got the minibuses. Um, I think they're about 150 baht, the minibuses. Um, they all go off the Peckerson Road, right in the centre. You can't miss them. Um, I don't rate the minibuses. I think they drive too fast, they're too dangerous. I don't get the mini minibuses any, um, no longer. And I believe most of them go to, um, is it Monument, isn't it? Monument Square in Bangkok, I think they go to. I don't know, I don't use them anymore. Um, Right, we've got an airport here. It's a very small airport though, folks. And at the moment, they, um, well, sometimes they fly to Chiang Mai two or three times a week, um, but that's mainly during the uh, high season. So we've got a small airport. That's the only provider we've got here at the moment. Right, taxis. If you were gonna get a taxi from here to Bangkok, um, you can pay anything from 1300 to 2000 baht. So what's that? Around 30 pound. 30 to 40 pound will get you direct to Bangkok, to the airport, into central Bangkok. Um, and it's quick, it'll be three hours, two, two and a half hours maybe. Um, we've also got a lovely train station. Check my film out, I made a lovely film about who were in train station, you know. Beautiful film. Anyway, um, the trains are really, really slow though. I, it must be about five hours to get to Bangkok, I think, on the train. Um, I've used the trains before, and yeah, they're great fun. And uh, yeah, give it a go, folks. You might enjoy it. Right, one thing. Um, We've got a new ferry service that's just started in January 2017 that is going to Pattaya. Party, party, party. So, and I think it's about a couple of hours to get to um, Pattaya on the ferry. So that's just starting. I'm not sure about the cost. You can have to check it out on the internet. It won't be much. I don't know, 1,500 baht maybe? 
maybe a couple of thousand i'm not sure but yeah that's done right so lots of good points here folks um right so who are him right yeah it's a modern it's a modern city it's got everything you'd expect from a um, a city back in Europe or uh, the US or Australia, I'd say. Um, four to five very big hospitals here. We've got Bangkok, Bangkok Hospital here, very good hospital. So yeah, it's all here. Shopping centres, uh, we've got two or three really big shopping centres, we've got Market Village and we've got Blueport that's just opened, that's more high-end Blueport I'd say, quite expensive in there to be honest, but anyway, it's all on the Peckham Road, you can't miss it, going southwards, it's down there. Right, um, okay, right, uh, there's plenty of houses, condominiums, apartments, whatever you want to call them, to rent and buy in Huahin. We've got an oversupply of properties here. I would say anybody that's coming here is, I would rent first. Rent for six months, rent for a year. Um, I'm a big fan now. I like I like south of Huahin. I'm in, I'm in kind of in the north. Um, and I'm thinking south is a good area to go to. Um, Sawyer 112, anywhere down the south, down there. Um, but obviously price is a bit more expensive. Um, so yeah, plenty to rent and buy. Um, right, we, we have got a beach here at Huahin. Um, so as you can see, it's very, very busy here. Um, it's a nice little beach, but just too many rocks over there, can you see? And they do get the odd jellyfish down here. But yeah, it's very, very busy, high season. quite rocky so be careful and jellyfish we do have uh, a few jellyfish here uh, they come and go there's supposed to be a jellyfish season but I'm asking here all the time that said 15 minutes south out of Huahin County Kiab you've got the lovely Dolphin Bay you must check out Dolphin Bay uh, Kokalak Paknam Pram check these places out on YouTube or the internet these places are beautiful check them out I go cycling down there all the time fantastic so there you go right the list goes on all these good points here you go right um yeah i would say people are very friendly in in who are here well in thailand people are friendly if i'm friendly um you, um they understand english uh, most people you can talk to them in english it's not a problem okay it's good if you can learn the language go to the school and um, that's a big plus if you can speak thai out here i can speak the basics like numbers and money that's it um, but yeah, they all speak English, so you can get by if you're on a holiday here and stuff. Um, I would say living costs are reasonable in Hua Hin. It's not as cheap as Pattaya or places like Izan, uh, those sort of places. Um, probably living costs maybe getting close to sort of Phuket and Koh Samui, those sort of places. So it's reasonable. I would say a budget of anything between um, 70,000 to 100,000 baht. I might be being a bit excessive here. Um, depends what you like doing. Yeah, I'd say 1,500 pound to 2,000 pound per month will get you your accommodation, your food, pay your bills. I don't know, rent a car, rent the motorbike. So yeah, 1,500 to two grand. Okay, um, you'll have a good lifestyle for that. So there you go. Right, one last thing is um, there's a lot of golf courses in uh, Hua Hin. We have uh, the Banyan Golf Course. Now that's world class. Um, I believe that I've never been there, but I believe it's quite expensive. Uh, Black Mountain, another good golf course. Uh, Palm Hills is lovely. I love Palm Hills. If I ever win that Thai lottery, I'll be buying a house at Palm Hills. I love Palm Hills. Lovely. Check it out. And it's good for running as well, Palm Hills. Anyway. And also the Royal Golf uh, Course near the train station. So plenty of golf courses. Um, just check on the internet because the prices do vary. Some are quite expensive, some are quite cheap. Um, gosh, the list goes on. Um, right, yeah, who are here? It's a safe city. 
I've been here 12 years. Um, I'm quite confident I could be walking the streets at two, three, four o'clock in the morning um, after a few beers. Touch wood, I've never had a problem. Um, it's a safe city. There's a lot of police here, a lot of police in here and a lot of army. Um, crime is very low, very, very low in Huahin. And of course the tourist police are here as well. Um, so that's a good sign. Um, if you cycle, very cycle friendly, um, once you get south of Huahin, get past that Soy 112. In fact, there's a cycle path that, that I think starts around 112, goes south for about, I don't know, 10 kilometers um, out of the city. So check that out. And then just get, as I said, get down to Paknam Pram, Cow Kalot, Dolphin Bay, um, very, very cycle friendly. So there you go. In fact, check out the Huahin roadies. They're a nice bunch of chaps, so they go. Right, so lots of good points there. That's taken me nearly 10 minutes, right. Right, the bad points. I've only got one sheet. I'm, you know, one sheet. Right, bad points, okay. Traffic, I can live with that. Okay, I'd say the traffic um, is, is it's just bad uh, weekends. What happens is weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we get an influx of people from Bangkok that come down here, they have the second homes down here, or they're just coming down for the weekend, for the holiday. Uh, weekends, central Huahin, that Peckham Road is gridlock. It's just too many cars. Um, so keep off the Peckham Road, learn those back streets, um, and you'll be fine. The best way to get around, I would say, without a doubt, is motorcycle. Um, but if you're a holiday maker or a tourist, just be careful on the motorbike. Uh, they can be quite dangerous, but it's the best way to get around. Good for parking. Uh, I must admit, I've got a medium-sized car. I use the car. It's safer. Um, and I just use the back roads. It's fine. Um, right, the driving. Um, I'll just say one thing about the driving. Uh, just be careful. Um, slowly, slowly. Um, and you should be fine. Make sure you've got either an international um, driving license with you or make the Thai driving license. Get that license, people. You need to be legal. If you get an, if you get in an accident, you need that license and obviously insurance and your road tax, etc., etc. Okay, that's my rant about driving. Um, right, dogs, 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 dogs. Right, okay, yeah, there's a lot of stray dogs in Thailand and obviously in Hua Hin, but it's just in the outer suburbs. Um, in the city, not too many dogs, it's fine. Once you get to the outer suburbs um, of the city, yeah, there's quite a few stray dogs. 99.9% .9 of these dogs are fine. I run every day on these streets. Um, I've been running on the streets for five or six years now. I've never been bitten. Yeah, okay, I get threatened by these dogs, but they don't bite me, they're fine. So the dogs, yeah, not too bad. So yeah, just to drive in, a little bit on the dogs, that's the only bad points that I can find, really. Um, right, so what we're gonna do in a minute is we're gonna, I think, the plan is I'm gonna get a taxi into town, and we're on foot, we're gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you some uh, bits and pieces in the center, and then I'm gonna treat myself to a couple of beers, I think. So, right, right, we'll see you later. All right, cheers.